Well hello everyone this is Mahir Jaman Mishur and today I will be summarizing one of the finest novel of Atiya Hosen and it's called The Sunlight on a Broken Column and it's Atiya Hosen's only novel first published in 1961 in a classical novel of Muslim life portraying the traditional feudal society into which Atiya Hosen was born in the time period of the pre-partition days so the novel set mainly in Lucknow of the 1930s the sunlight on a broken column centers on Laila the orphan daughter of a distinguished muslim family as the novel opens 15 years old laila is living in her grandfather's house brought up with her two aunts who observe portha and along with her cousin zahra zahra is frivolous yet happy to submit to the traditional life mapped out for her as the novel begins conversation around Zahra's marriage have already begun Laila's grandfather Baba Jan is a formidable figure and hugely respected the entire household is run around him now he is old and ill as the novel opens and his eventual death brings change for Laila and soon Laila is living with her uncle called Hamid Mr Hamid is so called liberal though he is a cold and autocratic figure. As Laila grows up and starts to attend her university, she is now surrounded by a variety of people where politics is a very much on the agenda for many relatives and friends. Though Laila herself is unable to commit herself to any of these political causes but that of her own freedom. Uncle Hamid's more liberal household and Zahra's marriage allows Leila access to a society that unmarried girls traditionally didn't experience. In the younger generation of Leila's friends and relatives, we are able to see something of the future of India and the changes that are on the horizon. Um, while in the characters of Leila's aunts, Aunt Abida in particular, Althea Hossein has portrayed the traditional self-sacrificing obedient role that Laila struggles to understand. And hear what she says. I think destiny's purpose is merely to shock us at moments into a state of awareness. Those moments are milestones in between which we have to find our own way. Laila was a girl with strong spirit and her struggle for her own independence was as exactly as India herself. Hossein portrays the claustrophobia of this world and the frustration felt by a forward-thinking young woman to perfection, brought up in a world where the traditional rules of obedience, honor and dishonor are more important than personal happiness, and the feudal society is still controlling the lives of servant classes. So Laila begins to pull against these feudal traditional ways. Laila was horrified when ignorance prevents a servant women's family seeking medical help. Desperately trying to save the women, Laila sends her to the hospital, but only it's too late. In this Talukdari families, into which Atiyah Hosen herself was born in 1913, the rules for the servant classes are just as harsh or maybe more so. The judgments upon a female servant seduced or preyed upon by a man was abysmally cruel. Sunlight on a Broken Column is an engaging and evocating story of traditional family life in the decade before the partition ripped India apart. In the introduction to the 1988 Virago Modern Classics editions, Anita Desai has mentioned Atiyah Hosen's excellences by saying that her greatest strength lies in her ability to draw a rich, full portrait of her society, ignoring none of its many faults and cruelties and capable of including not only men and women of immense power and privilege but to an equal extent, the poor who labored as their servants. Perhaps the most attractive aspects of her writing is the tenderness she shows for those who served her family and empathy for a class not her own. And that was it. Thank you everyone and stay tuned for the next story summary.